Well, good Wednesday morning. This is Pastor Hayton, your pastor and friend. The Lord likes devotional once again. I enjoy coming over and spending a few minutes with you each day. Well, I wasn't sure just what I was going to talk about on our devotional today. Uh, this is February the 11th, and February the 11th, 23 years ago, we had quite a bit of trauma in our family. When the Lord came down into a little operating room in uh, Shawnee Mission Hospital in Oberlin Park. I don't know whether he sent an angel or whether he came himself. I don't know just exactly his method of transporting souls to heaven. But anyway, February the 11th, 23 years ago, my dad was wonderfully transported from this earth to heaven. And uh, while we mourn his loss, yet we certainly rejoice that uh, another saint has made it home. It's not an easy year, grieving the recent loss of our dear mother, and yet, as we say, there's the bright side of things, and that is that Mom and Dad have been reunited once again, and we rejoice in that as well. I wasn't really going to memorialize my dad today, but uh, I just opened my Bible to the book of Isaiah, and I read a scripture that reminded me so much of my dad that I thought I'd spend three or four minutes here uh, talking about him and and uh, just remembering the ministry and the life of, of uh, Arthur Lloyd Hayton. But I, I read in Isaiah in chapter 50, I know I said Isaiah yesterday as well, but I uh, have my Bible on my desk and oftentimes I leave it open from the day before. So my eyes sometimes fall upon a scripture that seems to uh, speak to my heart. But uh, this is Isaiah 50 and verse 4. Where the prophet said, The Lord God hath given me the tongue of the learned, that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. He wakeneth morning by morning. He wakeneth mine ear to hear as he has learned. Now I like the living Bible paraphrase. It says, The Lord God hath given me the words of wisdom, so that I may know what I should say to all these weary ones. Morning by morning he wakeneth me and openeth my understanding to his will. And I thought that just so perfectly described my dad. My dad was uh, born back in depression year or before depression years. He grew up in the days of depression. His father had died when he was eight years old back in 1930. So his mother was left with a brood of children to rear during very difficult days the days of the Great Depression in the United States of America. So great was the Depression, so uh, much the struggles of my grandmother, that Dad had to leave school at the end of the eighth grade in order to find whatever jobs he could find to help support his family. And so he only has what we would say an eighth grade education. And yet if we consider his ministry, we consider the way that he was able to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and the way that he was able to minister to those that were weary. We'd have to say that he was a well-educated person. And I believe that the Lord had indeed given him the tongue of the learned. I believe that a self-made man, one that the Holy Spirit gave his education, that he might be able to use him as he would. And I know today that... There are many college-educated people, yea, even those that have gone on to higher degrees and the higher institutes of learning that uh, do not have uh, real wisdom. Uh, they may have gained a lot of knowledge, but they don't have a lot of wisdom. And yet I do believe that my dad possessed the wisdom that came from knowing and walking with God and seeking to do the will of God. Now, I've got a high school diploma for whatever it's worth, and I've got a few years of college behind me, but I have to say that my, uh, my education does not begin to match that of my father. Uh, I, I want to emulate him as much as I can, and I trust the Lord will help me to be at least half the preacher that he was, but I do know the Lord had given him the tongue of the learned, and he knew how to speak. He knew how to preach the gospel, to those to whom the Lord sent him. So on this day, we can't help but be mindful of our Father, and we can't help but feel a little bit of pride of how he sought to do the will of God in his life, and how God was so faithful to make of him 
one of the greatest preachers that ever graced the face of this earth. Heavenly Father, thank Thee for those that have gone on before us, those that have set the example, those, dear Lord, that have shown us what it is like to walk with God and to, to be educated by God Himself. The Holy Spirit is the greatest teacher in all of the world, and we believe that my dad had an abundance of education through the wonderful Holy Spirit of God. The Lord bless his memory, bless us throughout this day, help us to emulate those that have lived such a life before us. We ask it in Christ's name. Amen. Well, it's been a little difficult to talk about it, but I appreciate you listening to me today, and we'll see you tomorrow on Lord Light's Devotional. Goodbye.